dreams. It's unbelievable, like, to think that, I mean, it, it's exactly the way it was, like, 72. Nothing's changed. Hi, my name is Faisy Tab, and I'm the owner of Kensington Sound in Toronto. Oh, oh, I'm second from the right. I would have been 22. We weren't very good <laughs> as a band. And I just fell in love with the process of recording. I went, oh my God, this is what I want to do. What kind of things does this 50 year anniversary have you reflecting on, like, you know, in terms of your accomplishments here and some of the people that you've worked with? It's gone through so many phases. We were the number one punk studio in the 80s. Three years later, we became a reggae studio. We did nothing but reggae in here. And then we went country, and then we went jazz. The two albums that symbolize the eclecticness of Kensington Sound are, are, we've done two platinum albums, one for Teenage Head, of course, which is a raucous punk band. One elephant went up to play. And the other platinum album we have is Sharon Lois and Bram, a children's album. The Land of Miles. I was the first one, I think, other than the writers to hear Black Velvet. We bought some less well-known gear that stood the test of time. And this is one of them. This is called a Midas console. And it's a recording console that was built in Britain, hand-wired. So we have serial number 001. <laughs> we have the prototype. And it's still working, and it still sounds wonderful. Stand by. Open the door so I can feel way more. What do you see for the future of Kensington Sound? We're forming a company, a record style company called Bipocular Arts. And what we're trying to do is create a stable, welcoming environment for a diverse, up and coming young talent. I want to shift it from sort of what I refer to as repeat clients from my past to the next generation coming up. I'm changing your name from buddy to baby. And I used to love in this way You knew it was special You had no comments or complaints I first was introduced at 13. I came in just for, um, I guess, like a preliminary stage of the career, um, just to see where I was at. We did a little recording, to so just so that I can get a feel. The first time I was here, I kind of like walked out thinking, wow, like I really felt at home. You don't know how to channel it You've been scared to open up Cause you don't know who you could trust And I don't blame you I don't blame you And ever since then I've just been coming back every Saturday Just recording and getting ready to prepare a project There's something about artists um, And I'm a little biased I, I would say musicians I find them very humble I find them incredibly generous to share their talents and their experience. And uh, it's been 50 wonderful years that I didn't expect <laughs> that I would be here, but I am, and it's been an incredible ride.